Gate 2019 of two marks. So see, uh, this uh, of two marks, and this is a very, very, very easy question. You just have to revise your basics. So the first thing is the whatever it is involved. It is a Grignard reaction. It will involve a Grignard reaction. and the second one is a carbocation rearrangement so i think if you know these two type of reactions you can easily solve this question so i think i'll just write down the question so this is like this c double bond o and h and when you have your grignard reagent how it is this is CH3 minus and MgBr, right? So this is your nucleophile, and this is the only electrophilic center left. So this CH3 minus, which is a nucleophile, it will definitely attack into the electrophilic center. And you know what what will happen? And I think they have not given the hydrolysis. So when we write it like this, it is OH. Your OH. and your ch3 will be like that only so after that so when your oh and ch3 now what they have given you they have given you h plus and cl minus so now our next step is where this h plus and cl minus will react so you have your the product after grignard reaction is like this So your your aldehyde is converted into a secondary alcohol now you are h plus so this h plus will attack the oh site and it will form a carbocation oh2 plus now since that is unstable it will a water molecule will remove and when the water molecule will remove so you have your product as ch3 with a positive carbocation right so now so before moving on how this product will be formed our final product will be formed i just want to give you a brief explanation so these are all the carbocations what is this, this is a cyclopropanyl carbocation this is a cyclobutyl carbocation and this is a cyclo pentanyl carbocation right so when this cyclopropanyl carbocation it has highly it has very much ring strain it has very high ring strain so due to ring strain it will allow itself to open up very much easily right so when it is allowing itself so it will always allow itself to open up so when this has a positive charge like this this bond it will migrate here relieving of the angle strain to form a more stable i mean to form a, a substrate a substance which has less angle strain like this right now it's same happens in the case of cyclobutyl also this c will migrate like this right to form more stable cyclopentyl and the cyclopentane also in the same manner it will form a cyclohexyl carbocation because this carbocation because it will re this all substrates it will relieve of its angle strain to form highly stable products right so when you have this i think now you can people can tell so when you have this substrate like this right ch3 so what will happen this is exactly resembles to that of the cyclobutyl radical this one right so it will open up to form a cyclopentyl radical so when you 
when it is opening up so this bond will migrate right so when it is opening up you have your ch3 like that only and you have your plus charge like this right so from this we can say that neither this will this will not form and this will not form and this will definitely not form so we have only two options one and two either c or d so when you come here so now you have your cyclo radical like this see i what have i told you the, we know the very basic basic thing that a tertiary carbocation is more stable than the primary carbocation so this hydride will shift will shift here right resulting in the formation of a more stable tertiary carbocation ch3 and plus charge and your cl minus like that only so as a result it will attack here so it will attack here to form ch3 and cl so this is your product so we can say this ch3 and cl will be your product i think you all people understood this now